really good for apartments. There's a reason why it's so popular and it's such a hit. They like, they last a long time. The best thing you can get at Ikea is the If you don't normally watch me, my boyfriend and I recently purchased a house a few months ago and we're in the process of kind of making it our own. It's just been a really, really fun journey. Today we're focusing all on the best items at Ikea. These are things that are tried and true for me. I also have a few options in here for some new stuff I haven't tried, but I think are really nice. Obviously not sponsored. I wish it was. I also recently vlogged there like pre-lockdown and stuff. So if you guys want to see me shop at Ikea and see some more affordable dupes, definitely check out that video as well. Let's just get to it. I have to do this in the video. I have to give a shout out to the You Talker bed set. So basically, the Utaker comes with two twin beds that you're able to stack on top of each other or you can make it into a king bed or what we did here, we made it into our sofa. I keep pushing this video because so many people are doing it. Update, it's holding out great. Everyone always asks me about that. But the great thing about the Utaker bed is also it would be so good for a guest bed. It would be so good for a nursery. And um, I've seen people do it with just one of the twin beds and have them both stacked. Like there's like so many endless things. It's great. It's simple. You can stain it any color you want and there's lots of hacks for it already, which is always good. Okay, I have to give an honorable mention to our kitchen. I just did a mini tour of it on my Instagram if you guys want to see a little bit more like in depth. Everything in our kitchen is Ikea. We do not pick everything ourselves. The house came like this when we bought it, but Ikea cabinets, even when we renovate in the future, we're going to save the cabinet um, inserts and we're going to probably just replace the fronts eventually, but yeah, this is the Bodarp green color and it's such a hit. I think it's pretty new and again, the most affordable cabinet kitchen system that you'll probably ever find is at Ikea. If you're doing like a mini bar downstairs or like, who does a mini bar? If you're doing like a mini kitchenette downstairs in your basement or you have like a rental or an Airbnb you want to spruce up, these countertops are actually really good. They're laminate but they give the appearance of butcher block. I wasn't crazy about them when we first moved in, but I'm actually glad that um, they're pretty hard wearing and pretty decent. Very, very affordable countertops if you are on a budget. So let me show you guys my pride and joy and probably the best thing on Ikea. Pause this video and guess what it is because I'm sure you guys will know, but if you don't, come with me. The best thing you can get at Ikea is the Hovit mirror because it is literally the largest, least expensive, floor like standing mirror that you can get. CB2 has one in the exact same dimensions, literally looks identical for like $700. And the Hovit actually readjusted their pricing. It used to be $129 and now it's $119, like $10 cheaper, which is great. But I think it's awesome. Great floor length mirror, good for closets, good for your bedroom, good to make a room look larger. I think that this is such a hit. You don't even have to be a YouTuber or um, like an Instagram or someone like that to have one of these mirrors. I just think that this is good for putting together your outfits. If you're like a fashion person and stuff, I think that these are great. They're so amazing and leave a huge impact on a room because they're massive. Okay, so excuse the lighting here, but the Besta cabinet is like one of the best cheap TV consoles that you can get. There's so many best of hacks on Pinterest. Currently ours is sitting in the hallway because we have nowhere to put it, but it was really good as a front entry cabinet like storage solution in our apartment. It was awesome. We actually got ours on Kijiji. So seriously, if you're looking for pre-owned like popular IKEA furniture, go on Facebook Marketplace, go on Craigslist, go on Kijiji because you're gonna find it for like a fraction of the cost and it's already assembled. You can also like do a bunch of them in the row and like have them floating. I think there's so many possibilities with the Besta and it looks really, really good and just clean, modern. Original artwork by me, frames from Ikea. I bought so many of these cause it's literally one of the most inexpensive framing options that you can get like anywhere. I believe they're 20 bucks each. I literally made this myself, printed it out at Staples for about 20 bucks. So this whole art piece cost me $40. So that's like comparable to Target and some other places. For something this large, I think it's awesome. So highly recommend the Riba frames. They come in all different types of sizes, but 
I really, really like this size. So if the Hobbit is a little bit out of your price range, I do recommend these Larbo mirrors. We bought this originally for our gym mirroring, but we figured if we want to use it in other ways, there's so many possibilities because they actually would mount really nicely on a door as like a inside the closet type of mirror as well. I think we're gonna put one in our front hall. I think that these are great. They're obviously a little bit smaller, but for like, I think they're $20 each. Like you literally can't go wrong. They look like they float on the wall. Also a good option for in-home gym mirroring. But yeah, they come packaged like this. Uh, we haven't put up the last one yet because we're doing some home improvement over here. But yeah, I really recommend these. I think they're awesome. Okay guys, this isn't an Ikea product. This lamp is actually from West Elm, but I did find a good dupe for it on Ikea that's only 40 bucks. I believe this one's around 200. So yeah, if you want something similar like this on your bedside, I think Ikea is also another great place to go. Yeah, I thought this lamp really, really looked like mine. So good West Elm dupe. Excuse this, because we're actually doing some changes down here. So definitely stay tuned for that. But I can't express enough how much I love these Evar cabinets. They are untreated wood. I think they're about a hundred bucks each and come in two different depths. People use them for like their garage storage. I've seen that. People use them for like their kids' rooms or even their own bedrooms as like a closet organization solution. I think they're really, really nice and I love like untreated wood because there's so many possibilities. There's so many things you can make with it. But what we did was we literally just painted them and they serve as our office storage. They like, they last a long time and they're easy and they're hard wearing. So really, really love the Evar cabinets. This thing, I got like scammed on him. Um, in the beginning of like our stay at home order, I actually bought this on Amazon for like 20 bucks because I just assumed that's how much they cost it. Like I didn't realize how much they like upcharged me on Amazon for getting it. Oh, because we already have a Prime membership and I wanted it the next day. Lo and behold, these are like three bucks at Ikea. And they even have like um, this R little lighting thing is from Target. But they even have this like lighting um, hanging thing. What am I trying to say? Like those like lone electric bulb things too so you could make this yourself but i've seen paper lanterns like everywhere on pinterest i think they're really trendy really affordable and do make a big statement so i do recommend this so our backyard is in like shambles right now we're in the midst of like trying to make it presentable and okay for this summer so it made more sense to bring this in here and show you guys if you watch my latest ikea video you'll know that we pick these up they're about a hundred dollars each so a little bit more on the steep end for outdoor chairs but i think they are so worth it because they look so beautiful, like so stylish. They almost look like one of those like iconic designer chairs. I even think you can even like have this indoors and it would look really, really pretty depending on your style with like a little throw blanket. So nice. It's like partly wood as well as rope. And my mom was like, oh, like even when this wears a little bit, you could replace the rope and do like a fun color or something. So I think that would be a really good Ikea hack for someone who wants a statement chair. But there's also a little matching stool that would go with this. It's like a little, almost like an ottoman for this chair. I'm gonna link it up here as well because I'm thinking about getting them, but I don't know how much I would actually use them. Let me know if you have this and if you like it. I do have some honorable mentions over here. So one thing that we actually do have in our closet, but it doesn't look nice right now. So I didn't really want to like showcase it, but it is the mom dresser. I had these in my old room. It's pretty affordable. I, bet it's, I think it's around $200 for like the wide longer dresser and you can stack them all in a row and make one nice top as well. Really good for apartments. There's a reason why it's so popular. Comes in three different finishes, I believe, as well. The other thing I did want to give an honorable mention to as well is their jute rugs. I'm not crazy about the jute for our place. I mean, never say never, but I just didn't want a ton of jute around just because it smells like grass to our dog and our dog likes to pee on the jute. But if you do not have a pet, I think it's such an affordable way to make your place look very organic and like earthy. And I bought a couple of jute rugs from Ikea before. I believe they're about $200 each. So for a very sizable rug, it's quite affordable. Jute's also really nice for like an outdoor rug. So I'm gonna take our old jute rug and put it in our backyard because it'll just make the space look a little bit nicer. <laughs> Let me know which Ikea items are your favorites because we have a whole freaking house to furnish and I would love to know your suggestions. If you have any of these items too let me know as well and i'll talk to you guys soon bye guys yeah.